In this video, I will explain simple step-by-step -step instructions about deploying a container to AWS EKS cluster that is hosted in a private AWS ECR registry. So let's get right into it. The step one is to make sure that for Amazon EKS workloads hosted on managed or self-managed nodes, the Amazon EKS worker node IAM role is required and should be there. And that role name is node instance role. The Amazon EKS worker node IAM role must contain the IAM policy permissions for Amazon ECR and that policy is shown on the screen. The same policy should be there for the AWS Fargate. For Amazon EKS workload hosted on AWS Fargate, you must use the Fargate pod execution role. And this role provides your pod permissions to pull images from private ECR repositories. Okay, so once the role is done, next step is to make sure that you have following CLI and utilities installed with updated version on your local laptop or client. So which include HEM CLI, AWS CLI and kubectl. Once that's done, you should authenticate your HEM client to the Amazon ECR registry where your HEM charts will be hosted. Authentication tokens must be obtained for each registry used and the tokens are valid for 12 hours. You can also write some sort of shell script to update them frequently. Now make sure that you install the chart. So in this command, AWS ECR get login, you need to get login to the ECR repository and make sure you have set your region and other credentials fine, like your uh, access key ID or stuff like that. And then you need to install this test uh, or demo ham chart onto your ECR registry so that you can be sure that the integration between your HEM and ECR is working and you're able to log in and HEM chart is there. And you can list that chart by using HEM list command. Once that's done, then you need to create a namespace and a secret. You can create the namespace by simple kubectl create namespace command. And one thing to remember is that Kubernetes secrets are scoped to a specific namespace. So next, the secret is generated via command line using AWS ECR that is outside of kubectl ecosystem. As you can see in this command, which is kubectl create secret. So with this create a registry secret within the test namespace, which, is, which we just created, that would be used to pull an image from a private ECR repository. This command would utilize AWS CLI AWS ECR get login password and then save the generated credentials in a special Docker registry secret type. So once that's done, this is the usual manifest file for a deployment where I'm just specifying what the deployment is, what are the labels and namespace it is using. And if you see, I'm using the same namespace test as I used in, in line number 14, which I used in the secret. Once that's done I, in the spec section, I'm specifying how many replicas this deployment would have or pod this uh, deployment would have, and then how it would match this label with the service or the pod. And uh, then I'm also declaring those labels in the metadata. And once that's done, then we are giving the container information, which include the image, which we stored in the ECR repository in the test step one and you need to replace your AWS account ID plus your region and make sure to set this image pull policy always in line number 30. Once that's done, you need to specify the container port and also the port name. And you see that in line number 34, 34 we are using image pull secrets with the secret name testcred, which we used earlier in the when we created it here. So once that's done, all you need to do is to apply this manifest file by using kubectl apply dash f command and you should be good to go. I hope this was useful. If you have any questions or feedback, please put them in the comments. Thank you.